Is there light there? Easy Tigers. I hope everyone is fine and dandy. I hope everyone's recovered from the FEB convention. Just want to start by saying thanks to everyone who's supporting me, helping create new material, you know? And I just want to say a special thanks to Jim for making this video possible. Like, he took me out on his canoe. We met up and went out and had a little blast down the canal and in the catacombs. So let's have a little look at Wagwan there then, eh? So first things first, let's get this right. The, even though they're called Candom Catacombs, they're not actually catacombs. I believe they're probably catacombs before they started building on top of that area because you always, well not you always, but we notice a lot of things always named after something that was previously there. So this is like old world underground London that we're about to explore. So let's have a butcher's hook. So the Camden Catacombs are a system of underground passages in Camden Town in North London underneath the part of the Camden Markets. It was constructed in the 19th century and of 2012 owned by Network Rail. They are not true catacombs as they were never used as respiratories for dead bodies. Instead being an underground area originally used as stables for horses and pit ponies working on the railways. The catacombs also include an underground pool for canal boats, which is where we entered here, and operating on the nearby Regent's Canal. They are not open to visitors owing to danger of flooding. Right, so 1812, I think it's a load of cobblers. That's that's when it started getting redeveloped around that area. So we all know now that canals were the ancient highways of this realm. Obviously it's green, there's not, not much fuel. I mean, there's a bit of steam in that, but nothing like nowadays. I, I come across some pictures that I just want to share with you. They slide across, that shows you what it was before and what it was after. And these canals, even though these pictures are like 150 years old, some of them, they look ancient. Yeah, so let's have a look. That's it now, obviously. I don't know what canal this is, by the way. But look at the block work on the bank of the canal. That looks extremely old there, by the way. And also, there's about 150 years between these pictures, and the, the bridge brickwork looks identical as to what it was before. Now this one looks like it was extremely old and it's been left to deteriorate and then it looks like it's been refurbished at a later date to that now. But I mean look how old it is in that photo. So close to me you have something called the Norfolk Broads and it is a canal system, advanced and quite large an ancient canal system that's been smoothed out. So what would be going on here? This would have been like water wells, you know? These would have been the highways. So you'd have had houses or markets or, or blocks of houses or whatever on these patches of land. Let's have a little measure. So that is 12 foot, probably about the same size as a skinny canal, 12 foot. But these, I think you can go on these as a tourist attraction now. I think I've been on them as a kid, I can't remember. But look at the size of it, it's just been left. I'm surprised they haven't turned it into a nature reserve. And it looks like there was a star fault wall as well, going around the perimeter of it as well, but I'm not too sure. It has all the characteristics of it though. It has the raised land, it has the, the, uh, the riverways on the inside. You know, you've got water flowing through it, it has all the characteristics. Now let's have a look at this river, the River Burr. Have a quick measure up. I love a little measure. So let's say that's about 40 meters. That's about 120 foot. What's going on here? What's going on here? Sorry about that. But yeah, back to the boards, broads. Look at that. And you can even see when you zoom in other ones, like there's paths. You know? So that's very interesting. And there's always another thing, there's always a river fleet. Everywhere you go, there's a river fleet. But just look at these waterways, eh? 
and then you can see like little roads in between. God knows how old this stuff is. I'd like to go there with a metal detector or something like that. You can just imagine houses being built here though, you know? So look, look my, my point is, like I said earlier, the canal system is the ancient highways of this realm. So that's how you got about, that's how you got materials around, goods everywhere, you know. Even if you're posting something far away, I suppose it'd go on the canal. I look at the broads, here we go. You got, like, like I said before in the Hadley Castle, you've got some fake castle there, just so you can't dig it up. I mean, what what's this? What is this? Where's the rest of it? I digress. Okay, what is that? It looks like a windmill in the background. They, they've decommissioned it. Very old stonework and very old block work. Incredibly old. And this is the Norfolk Broads. So I've got some photos actually of the Regent's Canal that I'll show you later as they were making it. So let's go back to these photos. Again, this is another thing that I think they literally on purpose drained some of the canals and, and filled them in with rubbish. And that's probably uh, that's probably when the cars come out to be honest with you. You know, to stop people doing this so they buy cars and go on the roads and stuff like that. I mean look. Look at the difference. I know it's about probably 20 meters down the road, but it's the same shot, you know? Why was this so filled in of rubbish back then? And just look at the intricacy and the hard work gone in to make these things. Now, one thing I will say is that I'm noticing similarities between canal systems and star forks and star cities. I mean, they have the, the same work where they sculpt the land and they're always directing water around places. So I wonder if the canals were actually to do with star cities maybe there's a connection there i don't know but they have the same attributes who knows i'm just guessing but what i do know is that nothing nothing seems natural here nothing at all all the rocks so it's a bit like trees and other fauna see places like the amazon forest like someone must have planted all them trees surely like they don't just turn up there for no reason on their own you know Right, so before I want to go further, I just wanted to show you how many waterways are actually in the UK and that are still being used now. And it's there's more, actually more than motorways. If you used to overlap with motorways, I think this would we all over it, this map. So I'm just going to show you how much effort goes into making these canals and all different features that they have. And just have a look at the block work. I know I keep saying it, but... That's what gives us the clues. When you can look at that and you can work out, not work out what age it is, but give an idea of how old it is, then you've got a bit of a head start. I mean, this one feature here, this is incredible. So it fills up with water there. And obviously, the, the boat will rise to the next level, the lock will open and it will go through. Incredible. here this is this is coming downhill this one but you can see it, on the right hand side of the gate it almost looks polygonal the left hand side block work grey block work looks like normal but old it's the same sort we see at Hadley Castle different size courses each course but even but on the right hand side it's like polygonal this is ancient stuff you know ancient and then let's not forget Obviously, all the grass, the mounds, the mud, that's all been sculpted around it as well, to precision. And here, look at this. This is Cairns Lock, or Cairns Lock. I think there's 29 locks there. So they didn't just do it once, they've done it 29 times. Look at that. And this was renovated as well, at some point. Look at that. What a people like you wouldn't even. F I'm just gobsmacked at the engineering gone into this and how old it is. But you can see on the corner at the bottom that was old, and then 
made new. Now this is another interesting feature that they have, which is the viaducts, aqueducts. Now look how old this one looks here. Now this picture's 150 years old, yet that looks like a ruin already. And it was meant to be in 1760 that that aqueduct was built. And that was called Bridley's Barton Aqueduct. But it looks extremely old there. So that's the same with everything, just like the buildings, you know, that they were founded or built in the 1800s. But we've just inherited them. And I mean, and here again, they'd have had to bore a hole all the way through this mound. I don't know what it is, whether it's a hill or uh, or something. I don't know. Who knows what it is? But they've had to bore through that. And bearing in mind, we're told there's no machinery or electricity or anything like that when these stuffs are made. But we know it's, we know it's lies. And then obviously sculpting of the land around. Look at it. Straight lines. Straight lines that go on for miles as well. Just like in Scotland. I think this was 170 kilometres. And it actually went through about five star faults. And I'm going to do a video on this from Inverness. But that was just England. I can go on forever about England. Let's have a look around the world quickly. And then after that, I'm going to show you what's in the Camden Catacombs. Because that's connected to the canal system, you see. This is Amsterdam, which is uh, another massive canal system and I suppose it could also help you identify areas quicker when they're made, broken up into so many little sections but ancient and obviously we all know Amsterdam was a massive star city St Petersburg another ancient waterway city And obviously Venice, which looks like a rabbit to me, with white ears and white feet. I don't know if anyone else can see that. Looks like a man-made ting, a ling. But the reason I wanted to look at these pictures is just want to show you how the, the buildings are in the background. Look at them. And I thought these ones were quite cute, so I stuck them in there. But can you imagine, crane? could you fit a crane down here to build that bridge? I don't know. I'm just, I am just ain't got a clue how this was done. And obviously, there must have been like a, a gate at some point where there was, when there was no water here, there must have been a fence around the whole of Venice. Do you get what I'm saying? Because Venice is like a, a cluster of islands. So there must have been a whole massive fence, waterproof fence around it. They must have drained all the water out, built this area, and then let the water back in. Now, how old is Venice? Well, according to the narrative, the construction of Venice started in the 5th century AD after the fall of the Roman Empire, when refugees from the mainland fled to the island in the lagoon. Soon, there were so many of them that needed more space, so they drove wooden poles deep into the clay beneath the ground. But yes, all this is sitting on wooden clay, wooden poles in clay, is it? Yeah, all right, mate. This has got foundations going down. You can, you can see old block work here, stonework. Seems to me a lot more older than what we're told. Just like everything. I'm surprised they didn't say the Victorians built this. Because that's what they always do, don't they? They always say the Victorians built everything. Big up the Victorians. So yeah, here we go. It's an old water world place and there's loads all over the world. I could sit here and do a whole video on this, but... I'm just gonna jump back to England for a sec. The oldest one in England was actually from 1757. And what's proper fishy business about that is what you're telling me, 260 years ago is when we just started doing industrial canals. Venice and places have had them for donkey's years. Give me a break. So this one says, look, it's 1757. It's the first time the England had an industrial canal system. BS. BS. Anyway. 
back to Camden. So here you've got locks, bridges, bricked out sides. You've got all sorts of stuff going on and, that, and you want us to believe it was done 108 years ago when we've just seen it all over the world, ancient. Give me a break, guys. So this is the bridge at Camden, at Regent's Market, Regent's Canal, sorry. And look how old, again, I'm looking at the block work. It looks so old that you can even see the render has come off of the archway. Because when you see the other side, and this is the other side of the bridge. I mean, it almost looks like a Roman arch. These arches remind me of like Roman arches. They're probably the cats that built this, or it's probably around that, that time period, you know? But it's the same old script. Same old script. Whoever's rich or won a battle or whatever, they write the history. And unfortunately for us, everything started in the mid 1800s to the 1900s, basically. Everything started then. But let's have a look at some pictures of the canals. Uh, there's a really interesting photo that I did find. I mean, look, this is this is actually meant to be the building of it, but there's nothing being built. It's already being used. Like, it, like they're probably just building a path around the side of it. I mean, you've already got the bridge in the background. So, I think it's just a load of cobblers. And again, here it's already built. And it looks like it's in use and it looks old there. And here, look. So what are they playing at? More and more people are waking up and it's giving more eyes on these subjects. Which means we're going to get the answers quicker and quicker. Look at this in the background. Electricity building in the background. Now this picture is in, oh god, I think it was the 1860s. It was a very old photo, but look. They had an uh, electric factory back then. So, it's just history is his story. That's all it is. His story. Now, I just want to show you this bit. The 1800s, the canal reached Paddington and travelled for a 100 foot long contour. Canal building depends on finding a route which falls slowly so that the water moves continually but very, very slowly or the water will not drain away. A canal has to fall seven to eight centimeters per mile. Canal building involves a delicate engineering and the canal has to twist and turn to follow the contour of the land. So there you go, mate. It's not just saying you dig a hole, put a bit of water in and away you go. There's a lot gone into this. And these places, these, these ancient realm, realms, these canals are ancient, I'm telling you. I am telling you now. I reckon I go back donkeys thousands of years. Thousands and thousands. So the, the main, right, let's get to the, 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 the crack of this, this video. So the building that we went underneath on the canal was called the Interchange Building. And that was to get into the so-called catacombs. So we had to get on a boat or a canal and we went down Regent's Canal and then we slipped off into a place called Dead Dog Alley and I'm not too keen on uh, water myself like I don't mind it, a swimming pool but when it's dirty water and I can't see what's underneath it that's when I've got a bit of a problem you see and the other thing is it was pitch black so I was I was pretty scared to be honest with you you know, and I was just thinking, I can't, I can't fall in this, 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 because the water was green, it was stunk of sewage water, and there was just rubbish everywhere. It was disgusting, to be honest with you. But below the railway was the interchange basin with vaults on either side. So that's where we entered. So we went on the left hand side. So you can pause and read all this. I'll just put it in there. But it's quite interesting that the canal has to fall seven to eight centimetres for the water to flow around it. So I didn't know that. And I don't know how that works though because I think everyone listening to me now has definitely heard of the, the Cambridge Canal theory, how they worked out that world was flat after seven or eight miles. So that means it should have dropped 56 centimetres. Maybe they took it into consideration when they did these calculations, I don't know. I really don't know. But 
it makes sense for the canal as being a plumber that you need that water to flow round so you do need that little fall so yet in 1847 the place that we entered was a goods depot so basically goods would come in on the canals it come in to England via for the southeast of England via the Thames Estuary it enter the base Limehouse Basin and then go up the canal all the way to Regent's Canal and then when it gets to Regent's Canal it then branches off underneath buildings so these buildings had factories on tops so basically the goods could come in and out of these places no problem yeah you wouldn't be sitting in traffic you, you wouldn't well there probably was tolls back then to be honest yeah but look, this is this is the building in question so if you look at this picture and then look at the next picture you can see that not much has changed you know I'm, i know this one's a bit more zoomed in but the, the, there was a bridge there you've got the blocks on the corners and if you see just underneath the bridge right in the background you'll see dead dog alley which is where we entered which goes directly underneath the interchange building so it, all, this picture almost feels like amsterdam but obviously it's been the opposite to gentrification and they've made this place go downhill and then they rejuvenated it in the 80s now it's like a hipster sort of place you know markets and you know old clothing and very retro around that manner so you know i probably bored you with canals and all that malarkey so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get stuck into the urban exploration of these vaults uh, that are currently called the catacombs for some reason I don't know but like I said they must have been what they were before so let's go and have a look what was going on so this is what happened when you got off the canal and entered underneath this would have been the route the market traders or the other people would have took goods in so it was at this point I started to think that this part of this, this section of these tunnels was something to do with water maybe it was an aqueduct before or maybe something for overflow because they had all these grills everywhere so maybe these were part of something very ancient like a like a subterranean waterway aqueducts i don't know what you'd call them but it looks like they were very old and now now they then got used for services that's probably why british rail used them you know so again that's almost 200 years ago so who was using it before that? Who dug all this out? And another thing is the building directly above us is a new building. So they chopped it, chopped it down, but they kept all the foundations, which is what I'm in now, and built above it. I'll carry on. If I see anything, I'll jump in and let you know. What is that? Wait, these cables are very old. Are yeah. they even cables? They're pipes. I mean, They're pipes. Okay. <laughs> What's funny is they, they all, they all feel... Sorry, I just wanted to jump to Malta. Okay, so this is an aqueduct under the star fault of Floriana and Valletta. And I thought this was a subway tunnel, but the guy who works at the university emailed me saying this is not a tunnel, it's nothing to do with a train station, it's an aqueduct from one, he called it, a fortification to another fortification. But in my eyes, it was an aqueduct that's been blocked up from Mosta all the way to Valletta. Valletta. So it's identical, like I said in a video, it's the same dimensions. Where I've been here and there, I can feel it all around me, it's the same.
I bet that's a, um, a bit of shut up there as well. Yeah, look, there's, a, there's a, a big metal gate up there. I've got it, I'll show you in a sec. We've got blocked up windows. There used to be a window, I guess. Like a lintel. God, this is incredible. Yeah. I've always wanted to come here as well. You've heard about it before. I, I, yeah. Someone else has told me about it. Yeah. I mean, you can get lost, you don't know. If, if you wander around, you start getting the picture you've seen before. Oh, that's that one. one. I think that's the one. Picture, that's. Oh. So I've got a toilet. There's gas down here. Yeah. Oxygen and that's it, then. Yeah. Strange. And some medicine. <laughs> So I'll jump in here and I'm just going to show you how much rubbish was left behind behind the workers and things like that because they're down there at the moment putting breeze blocks everywhere and just sealing stuff up but look at the rubbish diabolical I bet their supervisor don't know about that what's that? Like rusted metal. Look at the old box. God. What's that? Football. Evacuation aspirate. You say it's got words on there. It's like um, maybe it's like a, it's some kind of. Um, I can Google that later. Uh, mechanism. Not sure. I don't know access. No, I don't. Yeah. When it says that, that, that. <laughs> That's amazing. Right, so that gadget was actually part of a fan unit. And I checked the rubble out here. And the only reason I checked that out because when I was in Malta, I come across a Mercury Arc rectifier in an abandoned theatre. And because I don't live no, there no more, I can say that I did go back and I did get the Mercury and I got 770 grams. Thank you very much. Dog. It's probably a ghost, dead dog alley. So I wonder what these were for then. They, apparently these were for pulling up, storing horses and things. It smells very machinery, like mechanical down here. Mm. When I was Sorry mate, I'm just trying to... As you can see, there's some new breeze block directly in front. And while we were down here, we could hear trains moving quite close. Now, I wonder what's on the other side of that wall. Yeah, they're not. When I see some, um, I've insulated the walls. Damp proofed it. <laughs> They've treated it like a... Uh, it's not easy to get through that. Yeah. 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 I think they've... I think the workers are down here blocking everything up now. Yeah. So I think we're lucky. This might not be accessible yeah. in a year's time. Yeah. What are these? Celotex? Yep. Could this be, like, you know, like the whole thing with the mud flood? Could this have been, like, much lower? Yeah. Like, these blocks, you know, go up over there. Possibly, yeah. It's strange that these are at an angle. These pillars. Mm. 
the workers have left their 110 lights down here. Oh yeah. It doesn't look like it's done work for a while right now. Like no, I think it's just them, them yeah. that have done that there. This floor is fucking ancient. That's what I mean. These, I think, these like supports for the building going up. Mm. That's what I mean. They're an angle. They're very strange. That, mate? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to know how old this really is, you know, because when I look at brickwork and I see it like this, to me it seems ancient. When I look at ancient structures, the brickwork looks like this. When we was looking at them canals earlier and they were built in the 1760s, so they say, according to the narrative, them bricks looked cleaner than these, like newer. So, walk one there, you're ramping. So, that's the questions I ask. What was this originally for, and why was the arches and columns offset, like they're built at different times? Was a, obviously the columns must have been there first because that's the foundations. I my tape measure. Yeah, so here's another one of these terminals. Don't know what it is. It must have been for an overflow of the canal maybe because that's the canal on the other side underneath the basin. Or was it a storm drain or something? I don't know. I think these places have had many a use over the years. And I mean a lot of years. I mean, look how old the bricks are. But these bricks here that I'm about to show you. How old is that? Please tell me how old that is. That's donkey's years old. Now this is what I said to the aqueduct, which is now being used for services. And it's identical to the aqueducts I've been in in Malta. And I know I keep mentioning Malta, but at least I have something to reference things to. At least I can put things together. But again, look at this. Look at these pipes. So what was that for? Was that the hydraulic system? Because London had a hydraulic system, it had a high pressure water system. And what was in pipes? A flow and return for something. Was there heating, like district heating, back in the day? Because I know above were not, were not cables, because they were hollow. But this area now is just being used for services. And with these breeze blocks put up, it gives you the feel of like, how can I say, army some sort of like army barracks or something like that so it wouldn't surprise me if these were used in world war ii as um, bunkers maybe you know get everyone down here scared while they go and smash stuff up upstairs perfect little plan really but that's how it is just having a little snoop about it's a bit mad to see a little leather chair down there just lifting up little manhole covers and seeing what's down there just a normal tingling Oh, so it's bloody incredible down here, isn't it? Yeah. Look at these. Look at these pipes when this is.
<laughs> also with these curved corners that makes me feel like water was meant to flow around these places. And these look like they were from hole saws where people were drilling out holes to put cables or pipes through. They just left them there. Ironic. And bits of mirror, bits of glass. So there was actually wooden doors here, you can see. There were still bits of glass in it. Which is a bit dangerous, but the whole thing's dangerous. This place is prone to flooding, so being down here, you're, you're stuffed if if the uh, the canals overflow or anything like that, or if it rains, it's meant to be quite dangerous. So we was quite lucky, we survived. <laughs> we survived! And another part that I found quite interesting, I mean, not this, but the floor is just incredibly old on its own. But where they've chased this out for pipes or something to go through, maybe cables or something, I found this. Now underneath this stone, or well, inside this stone there was metal. You can see it, this is earthed. So why did they chop that off there? And what else is that connected to for them to have to earth that? I mean, how old is this now? Now we're seeing this. How old is this? Because this building is brick foundation, yet you've got an old, very old, I guess it's iron, or still because it's gone a bit rusty. <laughs> Yeah, that's when I first visited, I thought, oh, I'm still in. <laughs> yeah. So, just on here, so I reckon these. Well, if you go up to turn light, you'll see them in the water. Don't know if they're overflowing out So, as I was exiting, I found a little crack in the wall and I found this very old pump set. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> a very old pump set. I mean, I've built a few of these in my life. I've even built some of these in factories, actually, and sent them to St. Bart's Hospital. I think I've got a picture somewhere. Let me have a look. So that was the trip, and that's us exiting now and on the left hand side you could see that there was some workers working and I found out I don't know why I'm whispering <laughs> I thought I was on the boat still I found out that they um, that's where they get rid of the rubbish for Camden Market so they dash it all into there onto the barge and they get rid of the barge no one even knows nothing about it
Yeah, that's where we was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Remember to stay on the right hand side. <laughs> Remember to stay on the right hand side. That was a joke. Look at Eso. underneath all that really, wasn't it? So this is just a quick little photo album of the, of the trip. And I took some photos just to show you a couple of bits. Um, I mean, these blocks, how old are they? And these, these bricks look a lot older than 200 years because when I was in Tilbury Fort, them bricks were 500 years old and they looked, they looked newer than what we're looking at now. So, hmm, alarm bell. So this is directly, this is the basin now. So the beams above are the, the ground floor of the building and these entrances are the way in to the catacombs, as they're called. Very scary place, if you ask me. But imagine these guys, like they must have, the water must have been drained out of here for them to do the work. Do you get what I'm saying? And look at this. Looks like it's been filled in on purpose, like flooded. But just look at how old the brickwork is. I know I keep saying it, but it's my point I'm trying to get across. So these are my own photos, by the way. And you can see services. See these services on the on the top, they're actually pipes. So pipes, yeah, obviously. Some people might think they're cables like below. They're actually pipes, they were hollow. Steel or cast iron they were because they were rusty. But they flew flew or f flow through the whole of these tunnels and on the left hand side you can see where loads of cables went as well but a lot of stuff's been blocked up under here with freeze block quite modern and i definitely don't believe horses were down here definitely don't believe like, i believe originally these were aqueducts and then we stopped using water as an energy source or a power supply and they got used as housing for cables and pipes and stuff like that and storage i mean just look at the block work how old it is come on it's ancient stuff look at it but this is not my photo by the way i didn't take this photo but this one i did Seems like they're ancient drains, storm drains. That's what honestly it believe, I, I believe they were ancient. But when I mean ancient, I mean very, very old. So this is leaving. That's how dark it was, you know. Not my cup of tea. Water and dark, tada. So yeah, please like, and subscribe, share, share the love, and all that jazz. Let's have a Brucey bonus. So, being in Liverpool, obviously I'm out and about, I'm, I'm, I'm going places, looking at things, even going down here to see what's down there, looking at the block work on the wall, about 30 foot drop. But I went down there to have a look, see what cat I am. But this is a dry dock in Liverpool, and look how old the block work is. Look the concrete on the left. Very, very, very old. Right, so I was in the cathedral in Liverpool. Oh, the
cobblers, hammer, bolster, plane and a chisel, carpenter, mallet. Now let's have a look at the construction photos. Tell me a building that they built the foundations last. Please tell me. Why are they digging foundations out when they built everything else of it? And look at the building in the background. Look at how old the world that looks. And these blocks, where did they come from? Because these blocks ain't even in that building. I went around the whole building. It looks like they renovated it in the, in the 1900s. Boom. So this wasn't built in the 19, early 1900s. It was renovated. Got rid of the tech. Downsized. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Share the love, support if you can. Be much appreciated. Remember, be lucky. Love everyone. One love. Ta-da. Ta-da. Ta-da.